Okay, I have never played Mini Metro before. I think I'm aware of it through cultural osmosis. It's um, it's a train mapping game, puzzle game maybe. Controller does not work for it. I can use the mouse. That's fine. And I don't know what the audio balance is like yet. Oh, cool. Okay, I like this opening. So you get real lines between them. You have no lines left. Remove an existing line or select another at the end of the week. Interesting. Can I extend an existing line? I see. A neat way to teach this. I see. Okay, so there's a little tunnel that's required there. Each river crossing uses a tunnel. Gotcha. Seems a bit quiet, so I'm going to turn it up a hair here. I see. So there's a line intersection problem, it seems like. New locomotive. Add a locomotive to a new or existing line. Build more lines across the river. That's like giving me a hint, basically. I'm trying to connect as many stations as I can, basically. I like how it starts adding more and more UI elements. how many people are using it that is a mess right there because eventually you start like converging on real world designs for train stations and things i see Guess you like want to maximize throughput. Yeah, I think that's cool. It have to be an endpoint, basically. Ability to do more tunnels here. This is a pretty chill game. I noticed the how long to beat was uh, six hours. Is there like a final level or is it kind of a game that you just like play indefinitely? New locomotive. So, hey, so, thanks, so, Gimmy. I didn't appreciate so, that. So, 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 Open a new line. Okay, cool. How am I reading the squares versus circles? Are these people waiting at the station to get to a specific destination or something? Thanks. Appreciate that. Okay. So a lot of people want to go to square if I'm reading this right. I see. I'm going to start to get mad if 
taking too long to go places, I guess. Uh, but they ha each line has a terminus, it looks like. I see. So they can go to any one of those. So they could go to a square, a triangle, a circle. Regarding the station for your metro to close, 122 passengers travel in the metro over 18 days. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I've never played this game before, so I don't really know what I'm doing yet. Watching this is infuriating for some reason. Still kind of trying to understand the mechanics. You can continue dragging stations through, or the line through stations all in one click. Okay. I don't understand why I can't just start a line for it, because this would require a completely brand new train, I guess. I also don't know why I can't end a point there. I must be missing something. I find it lines you have to move and extend existing ones. Okay. Anyone, if if two different trains are arriving at the same station, people can presumably get off their train and get onto a different line. People try to path to where they're going, okay. Yeah, I assume that what they're eventually going for here is like a common geometry thing where like your design ends up mirroring what actual train stations look like just out of necessity. Doesn't get that one around the pack though. Carriage, increase the capacity of a train. So I can have two different lines going like on top of each other that kind of just go in opposite directions, basically. Follow means trains in this line will not stop at this station. Why aren't they stopping there? Because there a way I can change that? So I just did. It's just a way that I clicked something earlier. to be able to connect there. There's like a max length to certain lines that I'm allowed to do. I just don't really know what I'm doing here at all, sorry. Uh, is there like a restart button? Or do I kind of just have to wait until overcrowding happens at a station? I'm not thinking about anything right now. This <laughs> I haven't yet gotten over the way this is abstractly presenting itself. Let me see if it lets me restart. Restart. know very little about trains and train stations in real life.
I don't know if I'm like I'm, I've already failed here at the beginning. I'm not sure. Um, I guess there's no reason to draw things until I already have demand for something. I suppose. Does this shared terminus imply that this is like a station if I see T's coming off in all directions like that? Like a shared intersection across a whole bunch of different trains, I guess. Yeah, so I don't know why I can't connect there, for example. Oh, the teaser just handles to grab. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. I thought they all had to stop somewhere. And then you had to have a different train to send them back out. So I can only extend from the T's, is what you're saying. Line can only touch each station once. Okay. Trying the middle of a line to extend it. So every line can touch every station, but every line can only touch every station one time. Is that a way to think about it? Still feel like I'm just like doing this without any thought. Every line touching every station isn't going to be optimal. Try restarting again. Is it better to just use a single, hold on, is it better to just use a single line than to make a new line? And only start making a new line if I absolutely need one? It's like, that's a loop. Now, this is still a loop, even though I extended the end of it there, right? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So just when you make a loop, if you extend off of it, you lose the loop. I probably don't have to restart every time, but I feel like I'm not getting it. And every time I get complicated, it's harder for me to understand what the game wants from me here. Um, how do I know? You said that it has to return to its start point in order to loop. How, is there anything that helps me track where the start point was? Yeah, I thought T was a terminus, but then this name was saying that the T is just a little thing I can grab to extend it. I guess it, they can both be true at the same time, right? Loop has one T, a straight line has two. I see. Okay. Okay. 
Why am I able to cross over the river so much without having access to tunnels? Oh, I something just happened with that. I don't think I clicked anything. Okay, so now this is single loop. Yellow one's a single loop, and the blue is not a loop. Drag from a terminus to the prior station that deletes. Understanding now that they can each only touch one place at a time. I'm guessing you kind of want to have like a central loop that then has like spokes leading off on it. I've never looked at a metro map before, so I don't actually, I've never also lived in a city that's had trains in it before. Uh, so I don't know what actual metro maps look like off the top of my head. That might help. Um, Why can't I extend off of here? Is it because I already have one exit, one entrance, or something like that? Now I want to see if I can converge on it through gameplay. Not from the station. I do like that this game tries to teach you how to play it wordlessly. I don't have any tunnels. So I guess I'm kind of supposed to be like looking for bottlenecks and trying to find a way to improve them. I'm guessing it's problematic that my dark blue line is like so ridiculously long. I guess that's a way to extend a loop without breaking it, right? Okay. Accumulating people faster than they're being picked up. I can pick which train I want this to apply to. I see. Does the length of the train end up mattering in terms of, like, can they interfere with each other in any way that I have to worry about? They don't interact with each other. Okay, thanks. So the reason you don't want to touch every line with every train is that then people have to be sitting on their train for longer to get to their destination, basically. Which can also mean that people end up waiting at a station for much longer. I see. I just get more of these through progressing a certain amount of time or a certain number of passengers being delivered around. Full trains aren't emptying people. It's the clock in the upper right. Okay.
stations add time does the train always stop at a state okay no it passes through it if there's no one waiting but stations add less time if they're already along the previous straight line path i guess oh now i was about to ask if we're gonna get new kinds of shapes that makes sense Can't cross there. What determines what rewards I get? So I get locomotive and a choice of carriage versus new line. Um, how do I get more tunnels or is it a fixed number of tunnels based on like the river or something? It's random. want to like delete part of the blue line what's the easiest way to do that so i kind of want to just have there be a blue line that touches here and then this green line carries takes care of everything over in this direction Grab the station I want from the blue and drop it into the void. I have to like click the line near it first to drop it. Okay. I guess that's how, otherwise it doesn't know that it's blue, I guess. star as an option, yikes. We're getting big problems here. Probably because I need a better green train if green's gonna have to service all these locations. So do they try to go to the nearest legal station or what determines which station they try to go to? Stars down here are going to be a problem because I have this one star station. Okay. I see. So anyone that wants to go to star eventually is going to clog up remote locations. Trying to like abstractly view the benefit of um, having multiple lines pass through multiple stations. Like I can kind of imagine the idea of them all trying to converge in a single space somewhere, right? But I assume also that there's a, a benefit to having these overlapping lines here. I probably have to play this for a while to like be able to see the code, so to speak, and understand what I should be looking for, or get mini metro vision. Um, that's not great. <laughs> remote ass station over here. Still don't have any more. So it's just bad luck that I haven't gotten any new tunnels, basically.
Yeah, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe it helps to have lived somewhere with a train line that you kind of kind of had to uh, live with. I've never lived in a city in my life. Um. In my head, I keep just wanting to restart. Interchange, improve a station's capacity and transfer speed. Interesting. This one's in a fail. Let's try restarting again. Look at that. I don't ever need to restart because I can always delete lines and just completely start over on my map, right? But... Play until you fail game. Okay. I can kind of like abstractly imagine how you might want to organize something like this and figuring having a central hub within a bunch of spokes that go off in the distance makes sense to my brain, but I don't actually know how to practically draw that through normal play, if that makes sense. Yeah, I wonder what the six hour, how long to beat is representing. Like people just playing six hours of it and... I don't like it's the end, I assume. Oh, sure, but that doesn't really talk about how you like organize <laughs> train stations. The one, the two or three times I've ever been on like a subway system, I've had the advantage of Google Maps to like tell me where to get off, right? So I haven't actually had to sit and think about how any of it actually works. It would happen. I wonder if like if you pass this to somebody who's only ever lived in the Midwest, <laughs> or if there are people who would just kind of get this abstractly. Shows you the packet passenger targets to unlock each map. Okay, I'll check. Seems remote enough. Oops. Can I move locomotives across lines too, or do I automatically get them re refunded when I delete a line? I just not connect these because the geometry is wrong to get that to match over there. Can move locomotives and carriages. Oh, you can't have a two station loop. Okay. Because the way I drag that, that won't stop at that station under any circumstances, and now it will. Okay. I do have, I've got three tunnels to work with. These maps always generate with a river. I feel like that is an added challenge to have to account for here at school. 
that just generate already on my red line? Oh, I didn't realize that I had to assign my trains that way. So anytime you place a new line, it tries to automatically grab from among your available trains. Thanks. Oh, this is a specific map. They're not random. Are the, uh, nothing about it random, like the spawning of the stations also is, like, fixed? Spawns are random, okay. Gotcha. That's already on my lines. I think we're okay there. I'm guessing at some point I really need to start optimizing, like, how many different kinds of shapes are on each line. I'm mostly just trying to get everything connected and not looking like an absolute mess. The river in specifics about the upgrade pool, I see. So if I see a bunch of, if I see a really long train that's not completely full, that probably suggests that I don't need as long of a carriage there, right? And I can grab one of these and move it. I'm trying to like understand what I should be scanning for while I'm waiting for stations to spawn in. I don't like this little angle here. I don't think there's too much I can do to fix it, though. Yeah, I just needed to play it a little bit to be able to see it. Locomotive. Oh, I can get new tunnels now. This time I don't really need them. I'm going to try the interchange. Yeah, I wasn't really clear on what I was seeing or what the rules were about being able to touch multiple stations. I'm sure y'all have like hindsight bias on that where it's been so long since you didn't know how to read this. You're like, why are you so stupid? What determines the rate of traffic generation? Is that just a feature of, like, it gets harder and harder as the game progresses? Is, are we considering the city is getting bigger or something? The UI is more intuitive on mobile, I see. I can see this being pretty fun on mobile. This seems like a really good game to like play on the plane or whatever. I do have extra locomotives that I need to assign here. I guess. Does the spacing between the locomotives matter? Like, does it make sense to try to intentionally um, have them running at a, a stagger between each other? Okay. I wasn't sure if they just like averaged out over time or something. Now it looks like I have trains going in opposite directions here. They just, they, is that just a quirk of when I drop this one or something like that?
don't like that. But I moved a train here. Did it just get dropped into the no, it's just gone. Point DN that indicates direction when they get placed. Oh, so when you move a carriage, it just tries to auto assign it to the train that's on that line. Okay, I misunderstood that part. Thanks. We'll have one tunnel. Yellow's getting worrisomely long here. Ah, uh, but I have no locomotives for this line. Okay, for whatever reason, I just assumed I got a free locomotive on a line. That's not the way it works. Wait, so a carriage... Okay, I don't think I understood this. Carriages aren't depicted differently other than that they trail behind a locomotive, right? So if I were to grab a locomotive, if I were to grab a carriage and put it on a line that currently has no locomotive, nothing would happen, right? I think I've done a couple times now. And they'll still attempt, if you go to move them, they'll attempt to finish delivering everyone before you move the car. It looks like that's the case. Oh, and I see you can have problems with them unloading at a station. Immediately can cause issues. You generally have to worry too much about um, the direction the trains are going at early on. I imagine that matters later on. Going northbound versus southbound or whatever. I assume the objective here is to eliminate or minimize the micro you have to do so everything just kind of runs without you having to change things constantly. Um, I might do a new line actually. Oops, I mean to do that. Some danger over there. I like that you kind of have to think about the way the game works with the different shapes. You have to think about like local travel versus long distance travel and how those interact with each other. Kind of cool. Don't need this many trains over here. To get another tunnel so I can try to deal with this guy. My little blue line. Don't like it having to go all the way over there to get them. I guess you can do stuff where you're like micro deleting lines all the time when you notice that there's no need for people there. But I guess I'd rather just make the map work longer term. I guess you could do that to save yourself from gaming over, maybe. How do I get over there?
This is a big problem over here. Um, oops, shit. Now, what's the deal? I feel like green, is it just that it, I didn't have enough trains to cover it? Probably explains why I struggled so much with Factorio. Um, I don't know if, if green, if this region of the map, they just happen to be generating more traffic, or if it's just that it's been under service for a while, and now it's going to be harder for me to catch up there. I see. A lot of circles, the train will take on a load from all of them, but not drop them off because circles don't generate circles. Oh, okay. I guess this is the first time. So far, I've been able to play the game kind of like limping style without really having to think about that element. Don't like that at all. over menu I like the game just kind of loads in oh that's cool are these actually based on the real cities then ah interesting the L I lived outside Chicago but never rode the L Better than when I first started and didn't understand the uh, the layout, but I still don't really know what shape I should be, what shapes I should be seeing as like optimal or desirable. That is not in my brain at all yet. So, what's the difference between a bridge and a tunnel? Are they degenerate? Just that one is used in different maps depending on what's actually in that city. Flavor. Okay. Good thought. Right, but they're mechanically degenerate. I gotcha. I guess you can't make a loop between two stations because it already effectively loops. Okay. Just trying to figure out, like, why not? That makes sense. The straight line is already more efficient than uh, anything else. Oops. bridges on this map. Really dig the audio for this game too.
guessing 90 degree turns are probably bad for efficiency. sense I think only path link matters okay so the further a field it takes them compared to oh do some of the symbols evolve did that become a plus sign at that point um the further afield it would take you so like the optimal station generation is a station that generates already along your line if kind of the pitch of this game is uh see how a pattern like automatically emerges in nature that it, when you're given the Chicago map, an optimal player will eventually recreate the, the L loop. I think that's cool as hell. I mean, obviously I'm still struggling with it because I, it doesn't speak to me naturally, but I really like the premise. It's my shit. I'd have to play it for a while, I think, to start to see the patterns. I guess an issue with this is this is only doing triangle to triangle. Now we've got a circle that's spawned on it. Okay. But I guess this would still get anyone that generates here over to here where they could wait and get on a red train, right? So until this circle spawned, this green line couldn't handle any local traffic because this would never generate to go here. Oh dear. It's, that makes things a little scary. I think that's the way to go. I like the way that it keeps the previous line in place until the delivery finishes instead of like locking you out from moving it until after there's no trains in the way I could see a lesser game doing it that way thank you all for your patience with me I think I'm kind of getting it a little bit better at least it was really bad at the beginning when i had no idea what i was doing at all i only mostly don't know what i'm doing locomotive um i don't immediately need a new line but I have two bridges. Advanced strats come with experience eventually. Uh, in, let me think I'd ask this question. 
in real life, when do two train lines like run parallel to each other like I have going on here with the red and blue? Like after I made this new little blue loop here, I thought about simply just deleting the red loop. But I guess I don't know what benefit, if anything, the red loop has of being in the same space here and running alongside a blue train, or if that just never happens, you know, in, in nature, so to speak. A lot of bridges now, right? Yeah. Happens all the time. LA has lines that sure track. Yellow, orange, and blue all share length. I'm gonna try to watch those and see if I can figure out why that matters. Different spur ends. Don't like that. Um, probably need this long term, though it doesn't help me right now. Yellow is already a little concerning. Do that to begin with. If you have two trains on the same line, I wonder why I'm building up so much square dust in traffic. I guess part of the problem is that my little orange loop is touching all circular stations. So it's not really helping me very much, right? Maybe this is where I needed to have the interchange upgrade here. I don't have the vision to abstractly understand why I'm building up so many squares at this station. Um, it's because I have no squares west, they're all to the east, and they're all pretty far away. Is that the problem? Orange and yellow are dumping their square because they currently don't have any access to it. Get a new, uh, I don't get a new line. All right, so squares are on. I think red probably needs the carriage.
probably can drop this one now. I guess it's useful for there to be m more intersections are good sometimes, yeah? More chances for people to change lines in one place. It's both a local loop and the only way to go east to west or west to east. I see. So my initial thought of like, let's make a giant central station is actually maybe ill-informed. I guess that makes sense. I'm trying to imagine like if I lived in a city and I had to transfer a lot to get where my, I was going, I'd prefer to have more options to do that to avoid riding unnecessarily. Oops, let me do that. Very worried about this guy. Yeah, the number of circles in a row for yellow just kind of like I guess what is what is that simulating? Um in like a real world, it's local versus long distance traffic, I guess. Do they do they tend to try to generate similar shapes near each other, or that's just like a, a random chance thing? Just got Budapest. Commuters. Okay, so downtown versus... I understand. So there is some pattern to the way these, these generate then between each other, I suppose. Oops. I guess that's okay for now. It wasn't just random chance that a bunch of circles all generated over there. Chicago Loop is a good example of a distributed hub. The loop has five trains running across it that spur off into the individual lines. It spreads transfers across eight stations in the loop itself. So that's the whole hub and spokes thing I was talking about earlier. Oh, okay. So like number of sides indicates relative rarity. I see. All right, I guess I have to, cause that's what killed me last time was not thinking about that adequately. So I have to think about, think about how to think about that. This is a really cool game. Like I said, thanks for your patience with me. It, doesn't come to me immediately, because I guess I've never played a game that's looking to solve similar problems as this one. The closest I can think of is like Factorio belting, but this feels still pretty different from that. I'm going to try to avoid looking at a real Metro map, because I, the thing I find most fascinating about this game is the way I'm assuming it uses the local geography to kind of cause you to like iterate toward what the actual real map looks like as you get better and better at the game. I guess that assumes that every subway line in the world is already optimal, which maybe that's not true. <laughs> I assume people thought about them long before they planned them out and built them though, right? Strip-down, laser-focused version. Oh no, I'm sorry, Six-Gun. What did I say? That was upsetting. Oh, the part about do cities build optimal uh, lines. 
I guess for the leading question, um, talk about it in hide first, I guess. Like, on a scale of, uh, I don't know, the planned grid city in the American Southwest to, like, Boston, where everything's just been built on top of cow paths. Like, <laughs> if, uh, if Boston is a 10 for chaos and the grid city is, like, a 1, like, what would you say is the average subway line in the world? I don't know how long we've been thinking about this. Like, to me, I guess it seems like Boston is inefficient, not because we only recently got better at city planning, but just because they had to build it on the existing infrastructure, which was chaotic, right? And as you expand west, you have a little bit more opportunity to be more deliberate about it. But I guess you still have to work with, like, rivers and that sort of a thing. Boston went from eight chaos to three after the big dig. It's kind of the whole objective, right? Okay, so I guess my red line is all suburban commuters. Should I see it as okay to have an all circle line like this? It just gets a whole ton of people and tries to bring them downtown, or is this is this indicative of a problem if I have a line like this that's only connecting like shapes? All competing lines. Hey, thank you, Isla. I appreciate that. I'm going to die here in a second. I'm just trying to wrap my head around what the issue is. Should... So if turns don't matter, should an ideal line of any color touch at least... Like, is there, like, a ratio I should be trying to go for where, like, I don't hit another circle... Um, until I've hit at least one square and one triangle or something like that. So I should do like two circles, two squares, two triangles, or one of each, or... No more th than three of the same in a row. Bridges. Okay, I usually get two. Can't really loop these so they don't have enough tunnels. consider why I think loops are strictly better than lines. I don't. I thought that, like, an objective was to try to make the loop. So what you mean to say is you don't need to make loops? What is What are the circumstances under which you want to loop? Is it just so that you can touch more stations or something?
You're, you're, you're attributing more uh, more agency to what I'm doing than is actually going on. A lot of this is still me kind of randomly clicking to make things connect. So I'm trying to get to the point where I'm actually thinking about it, but that wasn't me thinking stupidly about something. It was me not thinking about something at all. <laughs> Loops are a tool. Okay. Um... I guess I need to think about the individual lines as already being a loop in the sense that the train goes one way and then turns around and goes the other. So to that end, why would I ever use a loop is the question I'm asking myself. Y'all don't have to answer it. I'll see if I can figure it out. Uh, thank you for that feedback, though. I, I don't know. Okay. Enraging six gun over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I guess that's the three in the row problem, right? Oops. I see. Okay. No worries. I just imagine if you're like, I've, I've been good at a game before and then watching somebody else who doesn't get it and it's like infuriating. So I'm picturing y'all's perspective. If you're good at mini Metro to be like, what the fuck? How does he not know this? How does he not feel that this is stupid? <laughs> Different problems require different techniques, yeah. Yeah, I saw it as kind of a, a traveling salesman problem. I do like the added complexity of the shapes. I think that makes the game more interesting than it would be without that. I don't know if that's stupid like I literally I don't know enough about the game to know if that's bad <laughs> I did it because it's a shape I guess um, this looks bad I don't like that assume I'm wrong here if I want to get rid of the loop aspect um, how do I make it so that it has two endpoints again is that hard to do okay thanks I feel like I should be seeing this line overlap like this is a good thing. So let me ask a question without getting the an well, I just want to know a yes or no answer, I guess. Like, let me delete this. Is this strictly better than this. Understanding when stuff is just better would be helpful. Okay, having it connecting into the station is better.
trying to go about how I should be thinking about long lines that go out into the boonies here. Access to another tunnel. I mean, the brown ones. I have to think about what what you said means in practice does it do, does it generate the more complicated shapes like the plus sign based on like is that like the capital city or something or the most downtown area i guess I'm just curious if they like try to like if the the more complicated symbols tend to generate um where you would expect the city center to be like near the the river or whatever help a little bit I guess I don't know if this is a good idea or not they have zero sense. Map is half city center. I do like the little sound effects. It's easier to tell when you're in trouble. I guess I have this desire for no reason at all to build a line out at the end, about in the boonies. Um, but I think when I have a chance to make a new line, I should be trying to make a better, like, central connection, I guess. I guess part of what I'm struggling to see right now is when there's a problem, how do I solve that problem? Melbourne. Or maybe six hours is to try every map at least once or unlock all of them. Here's be a more simple map.
don't know if that makes sense. Different from what I've been doing. Total bridges do I get? Three? Okay. Don't hate that necessarily. Tram, which again, this is just flavor, right? It's just train. Probably gonna need more bridges. Guess I'll start with the carriage. Probably over serving brown right now. All right, so this line has four circles, which is probably bad. But because of the river, I don't really have too many other choices, I suppose. I guess I could, instead of going here, I could go here. And I guess that affects what this line can serve by itself, right? I just need, I need like to develop more general rules, like number of sequential lines kind of things. Ball station. Gross. Does that count as one bridge or two? Two available. That counts as one. I see. I think I maybe I didn't realize that all this time that if you draw a single line over multiple bodies of water, it just gives you one super bridge across the whole thing. It's helpful. Yeah, so like here, I feel like you want these to connect, right? But I have no reason, no idea why I would want that. Other than that it's weird that it's so close without connecting. Oh yeah, I would like to have it up all the time. Is that like a keyboard command or something? It's dot, okay, thanks. Got it. Trying to do something different on the argument that what I was doing wasn't working, so it probably requires some kind of change. Um, green line's probably too long. Try connecting it to the triangle so it can deal with that on its own, because I guess previously it wasn't. This is Overserved.
Why is that one not picking anybody up? Ah. Okay, I don't think I followed what I did wrong with that one. Oops. And more circles. New York City. Okay, so that was one where actually pointing the train the wrong way is what got me in trouble, basically. Gotcha. Could I have like quickly micro fix that just by um picking up a train and flipping it? How do you how do you change the train direction? Yeah, it's really cool. I guess maybe instead of iterating towards the real world pattern, try to beat the real world pattern. Although in a lot of cases, I'm sure you end up building similar shapes. I guess I don't know the extent to which rivers represent a significant like hurdle to building a, a subway network. Yeah, great video from Defunct Land. Right circle, I know. Okay, I guess, fortunately I don't remember that map, but maybe I'll go look at the VOD later. Um, I guess another thing that killed me last time is that at the advice of stop making so many loops by not having a loop, suddenly the direction the trains were moving mattered way more than when everything was a loop, right? One bridge. trying to figure out should i think of loops servicing like a small set of suburban circles like this as a good thing or a waste of time Yeah, okay, thanks. Now I do have four circles in a row now, so I don't know if that means I need to start having the purple line service one of these separate from the other ones. Yeah.
Locomotive, carriage, or more bridges. Red is quite small. Yeah, so is there like an optimal number of stations for any one line to service? There's like obviously two and three are too few. In terms of having multiple carriages versus having multiple locomotives, are carriages better when you have lots of consecutive similar shapes and locomotives are better when you have lots of different shapes? about green very worried about green right now don't know if that's helpful at all connect green to blue. Part of my struggle here is I'm trying to abstractly understand if like, it, I get that there's a lot of things that I'm trying to track at once, um, but should I be trying to maximize number of intersections? Example is not something I'm clear on yet. I guess I may as well go there since it already basically passes right by that station. I guess it's a problem that blue doesn't serve square right now. It would help my brain a bit, I think, if the game, um, like, Put a little arrow next to each of the stations to show well i guess it can't because it doesn't know it could show you like the next train is going to get here and it's traveling this way right but maybe that would be more complicated and most people probably wouldn't need it green's definitely a problem right Yeah, but how do you how do you load balance? Do you load balance via more intersections? Do you load balance via little dead end loops in places? Green is really bad. Not happy with current state of green. Yes, okay. Pink is starting to become a bit of a problem as well.
I wish that when I saw this, when I saw a station that seems to be accruing the same shape, that my brain instantly made the connection of what that problem means and what I need to do right away to try to fix it. I see that it's a problem, which is probably at least a good thing that I notice that there's a consistent pattern popping up. Or like there being a ton of circles here, but I don't yet know how to read it. Interchanges. We said that the uh, trains don't interact with each other in any way, right? They don't block each other. But I guess you still, if you're going to put your interchange somewhere, I suppose it still ought to be the place where the most lines intersect because that's where you're likely to have the most traffic at any given time. to have a square on the purple line, I guess. I already had one, never mind. Confused. Connection, station type, diversity, and track length. Okay. Green that's lacking squares right now. Yeah, that's right. Don't like that. Really don't like that. Really don't like that. Oh, I should have taken a bridge sooner. Wonder if I can. Yeah, okay. I guess that still counts as two, huh? Let's see if I end up dying to that. Thank you. My green is a, is a nightmare. It's a hellish nightmare. I guess it does connect with every other line at least once. Given that I don't have any other lines though, like what other tools do I have to help with the problem of green? Like, I haven't been given the option of adding a line so far. Diamond, that's new. Probably a better choice to put the football in blue than green. Oh, just to not, since it's already over the river and it's... Okay, so like the football... I see what you're saying. I have a misguided desire that once I've built a loop to keep it 
like small, I guess. I don't think that's based on any irrational at all. Oh, I, I want to turn it really bad. Just drop it, I guess. Like a thing where you like swipe it a certain direction. Oh, there we go. Actually, I do want it to go the opposite way. Sorry. really trying to get it to like go the opposite direction of the other train here it goes I don't know what the problematic line is here it's for the triangle station that has the most of those looks like That's red, maybe? Okay, I think maybe this is helping me to see something a little bit better. So I put a new red train here to try to alleviate the congestion here, but it won't work because the red line isn't touching any of these complex shapes. So to know where I have to put the train, it has to be on a line that has some of those more complex shapes on it, right? Namely, pink, because pink eventually connects to blue. I don't know, that seems like that's bad to use two bridges for... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna die here in a second anyway, though. Oh my god, a new line. Okay. Duplicated my blue. Does me no good. Yeah, this is just, there's too much going on now for me to assess what I should be doing there with a the new line, so. Okay, let's see what we got. We unlocked Hong Kong. Oh, you have to get a score on a specific level. Okay, I didn't understand that. Let's try Melbourne again then. I'm also trying to like eyeball whether in the grand scheme of things it's number of like stations on the line that I have to be wary of or number of like consecutive stations on the line right is like where are those degenerate with each other so is three circles in a row worse than circle square circle square circle where I still have three circles, but there's different shapes in between them. I'm not sure.
I think a challenge with this game for me and my brain chemistry is that it seems like you can play it in a way that appears to be acceptable and that you're not causing a game over but which is like deeply inefficient and super fucking wrong right and maybe not realize the gap between efficient play and very bad play for some time i don't know how you would accelerate that though like the time to death seems fine for what the game is but Here, I guess I'm just trying to maximize the number of different shapes touched by each line and also maximize the number of intersections they have. Yeah. Great. Instead of like looking at the screen to understand how can I improve what's already on the screen right now? I don't start doing that until I see a station about to die, which is usually it's already too late that I've already let the problem get out of hand, you know? Um... One bridge. Be very interested to just keep playing this with little bits of feedback from y'all and see whether my brain ever gets to the point where it just kind of like makes the synaptic connections to get it. I'm pretty dependent on, I mean, I'm not unusual in this respect that I'm dependent on the way the brain works to learn things, but I'm very dependent on like passive learning. Like my brain just kind of seeing the feedback the game is giving me when I'm making mistakes and reacting subconsciously to that instead of thinking, ah, this is the explicit strategy that I'm going to enact right now, you know? And so there are certain games that I think my brain responds better to if I'm able to learn passively from like on-screen feedback. So there are, there are lots of things like that in this game. This game isn't bad about that by any stretch. The fact that I can see certain stations filling up with like certain symbols right if i if i see that one station has five squares i'm kind of passively understanding that there's a square problem without really having to vocalize that um and i like that there's a lot of other little bits of feedback like the the sound design kind of is is chill but also lets you know when there's a problem <laughs> Oh, it's possible to pause? Okay, that's helpful. Thank you, I didn't realize that. And probably gonna need bridges down the line, but... Um... It's a toughie. I need to watch some of this a little bit more closely. Passengers who are brought to a destination are destroyed upon arriving at their destination, right? Is that true? Okay. So, it's not that... So if I see shapes generating at a station, it's because the passengers are 
being offloaded there temporarily to board another train to go to their final destination, right? But if they do get to their final destination, they're destroyed. That might seem like an obvious thing, but I, previously I wasn't sure if they, like, got to their destination and then changed status and immediately wanted to go somewhere else. So if I had, like, the perfect map, there would be almost no queue anywhere because all the passengers would have been recently destroyed. Probably need another train here. Wish I knew how to turn this around. I don't know if it's just, like, it's a direction you have to face it or something. Put it on the, the edge of a specific station or something like that. So here's a situation where this station spawned so far out from everything else in the boonies. But it makes me want to use my new line, but I don't know if the better use of a new line is to, like, consolidate traffic in the busiest area, make another, like, overlapping loop so there's more places for them to pick up trains and move people around. Um... Seems inefficient. I don't know that. Might also be bad, I'm not sure. Really, these three circles here. Get another unique shape would be nice. Yeah, I guess I need to, like, intuit better why multiple consecutive shapes are bad. Like, I, I think I kind of abstractly understand what you're saying, but, like, it's because any train moving through there is moving over a long space but not able to drop anyone off along the way. Now the lines question doesn't need to be a stressor anymore. Oh, right, I only have the one bridge. No room for others to get picked up. They never generate traffic to each other, yeah. I guess I'm going to connect this here just so that there's another place for them to get off. And if the passengers have multiple options, they will automatically try to get on the most efficient current train, or is there any jank around them kind of being stupid or just getting on the first available train? I see. So, I have a question, but I think I gotta ask it. Um, My earlier question was that are three consecutive identical shapes 
degenerate with three identical shapes being on the same line but not consecutive? Like, is it is it the same problem both ways? And I think the answer is no. That it's worse for them to be consecutive identical shapes than for there to be some other different shape in between them. Because each station can generate... Like, the traffic generated by each station is completely random, right? Or is it? Is there still, like, a rarity thing where it, try, it like, tends to generate circles and then slightly less rarely or more rarely triangles and so on? If they're not consecutive, they have a chance to offload. Okay, that's, that's helpful for me to think about this better. Probably need bridges eventually, but... Here we've got three consecutive circles again, which is probably bad. Try to think of how to deal about that, deal with that. Is there really no benefit to this being a loop here? a rarity curve for traffic generated. Yeah, I guess it's because everything is already a loop. I need to be able to understand the benefit of a loop. Why do you even want a loop ever, I guess, is a thing I don't really in my bones at the moment. Be worried about blue over there, but I don't know what all I can do to help. Um, I guess light green is pretty chill right now. I guess we've got the three circles in a row there, don't we? Maybe if this is the key is I just need to start looking for her places where there are three identical shapes that are consecutive and then try to fix that. If I'm thinking about it in terms of chances to offload. Also kind of a problem right now. Oh, they do slow down in a straight intersection like that? That's interesting. Is that simulating, like, having to wait for traffic or something if there was a crossing train there? I don't think I've seen them slow down anywhere else. So I have three circles here, but I don't think there's too much I can do about it. I think it would be helpful to me to understand to what extent um, the node generation is like completely random versus to what extent it's authored. 
Um, if I could know with certainty that like circles always, I guess they, they appear to cluster just because they're more common, right? It's hard for me to see some of the patterns, but sometimes I, I wonder like, you know, am I stuck here? I can't divide like I'm stuck here because of an unlucky circle that spawns somewhere where I don't really have a good line to put there. And so I got screwed over by RNG. And also there's the element that my, my trains are just garbage and I'm bad at the game. Um, but I don't have the vision to be able to distinguish between, oh, that's tough because I got an unlucky roll and that's tough because I'm bad, right? Just generate passenger shapes by picking a random location, not of the shape where they start and using that location shape. It's all random. This is my first time maxing out lines, so that's kind of interesting for me at least. Gonna fail there regardless, okay. Hong Kong. How many of these are there? Wow, quite a lot. Have they just been adding these over the years? Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 what my brain is trying to search for now. Like look for a, a bad pattern that you can try to fix before pileup starts happening. I think we, that weird shapes are inherently more rarely chosen. I think the number of sides it has makes it rarer, right? Is that accurate? Is it like slightly zooming out? I think it is. That's freaking me out for a second. I wasn't sure if I was actually seeing that or if I was getting like that. You play too much Tetris and you start seeing the world scrolling. Two consecutive shapes are pr probably acceptable, but not ideal. If I think of it in terms of like probabilities more, like the chance of being able to unload is higher because it's zero if you have two consecutive shapes, but it's it's a non-zero number if it's at least two different shapes, so. Right, makes sense.
That's not my most messed up line. You can always move it later. Got consecutive triangles again. I'm just trying doing something completely different here just to see what it does to the map. Like, I know some of these shapes are super janky, but if I just am focused on trying to minimize consecutive shapes touching each other, I'm curious what that's all going to do. Locomotives. Probably going to need more tunnels down the line. Red is kind of problematic. Well, I need to look where things are going. So there's this shape is on red. Okay. Yeah, I need to understand better whether um, having two nearby bridges on the same line is just always bad. I assume it is, kind of. This is actually good for me. Don't like having three circles in a row there, but I don't know that there's much I can do to improve it, fortunately. That kind of has two bridges to connect to that. circles again. Mine on tunnels now, I think. Here, I think I have a time to death problem where I, I it looks like I'm already dead. Maybe I need to like train my brain to recognize any time I've got a station with like this many people waiting, I've I've already failed, right? Um, oh, thanks. That was an accident. I think triangle is the issue there. Salona, Osaka. Oops, that's fine.
Okay. Week starts at the end of Sunday, is that right? Commotive, I guess I'll do the line first. We have the one square. Which makes sense, because square is the rarest shape on the board right now, right? doing this different strategy that I've been doing because I'm wanting to see where it eventually breaks down. The strategy is basically try to connect each line to as many alternating different shapes as humanly possible um, instead of trying to think about like the implications of loops and the lengths of lines and the number of intersections and that. Literally just look at connecting different shapes to each other. I have a feeling that that's not enough, that that's not going to like solve the game or anything, but I want to understand what remains a problem after having done that, if that makes sense. really like the concept of the different shapes. I think it makes this game really interesting. I guess I don't know how you would do it without that. Like, if every station was unique, the game would be really crazy. Um... Okay, so now we have what is basically the suburbs out here. I guess maybe in that case, having to travel so far out to the circle is maybe not worth the extra length of just connecting it from here or something. Our second square. Is there any reason to bypass a circle like this? Like, does it ha it has to slow if there's people there, and this just lets them not pick anyone up if there's someone there, right? Squares are equal. C. 
see. I don't think I can get her out of having two circles here consecutive. That makes sense, yeah. One of any shape, really. Although I guess, theoretically, it's busy enough, it might matter. Diamond now. I think I'm kind of getting it. I think I'm finally maybe, I mean, I'm not doing well. This is still kind of a messed up screen, but I've been trying to understand like, what what are we modeling here? I think the more rare a shape is, the more lines need to touch it, right? And the more common a shape is, the less useful it is to have multiple lines touching it. Um, I think that's true. Really? I try to wrap my head around that. I see, so they could just transfer to get to the diamond. I guess my thinking was that if every line touches the diamond, for example, then no matter where a diamond is on a line, it'll be able to deliver itself without them having to transfer. But maybe that's not a, maybe you're right. And that's not a good thing. I mean, you are right, but just trying to understand it more intuitively. So I think I asked this earlier and I don't remember if someone gave the answer. Station rarity also applies to passenger rarity. Like let's say there's a one in 50 chance to generate a diamond station. Does that mean there's only a one in 50 chance for someone to want to go to diamond? I was under the impression that it generated them all like equally. Weird shapes get less traffic. Tempted to pause here just to try to redesign this from scratch. Okay. Let me, uh, what's the quick way to delete? I can do it from down here somewhere. Since I usually don't have enough time to think about it on a complex board, I'm having to make decisions based on an already very populated board. Passenger rarity applies if not at the same rate as station rarity. Okay. Um, Thank you. 
Okay. Undo some of these here. Having the ghosts of the existing trains is a little confusing for me at the moment. Um, probably not great for it to double back like that. like doing the two consecutive. We think that's bad. We want to have anything in this island we don't want there to be another bridge, right? That's, I mean, this kind of sucks that the green line just goes here, but I think anything that I would do to send it back out would be a waste, right? Um, I think. Because eventually if more stations spawn down here, I'm gonna want to use green to capture them. Triangles and squares should be the main interchanges. I mean, circles and triangles, since they're more common. It's on bridge count. Um, there's a square. All the squares are kind of in a certain area. Why? If circles are the most common and we want to have the most lines touching the more common buildings the most frequently, then why are we going for triangles and squares as the intersections instead of circles? I believe you, I just I don't understand it yet. Oh. Most stations are circles, but the most common destinations are triangles and squares. So it's not true that circles generate as the destination most frequently? Let me, uh, let me reset this again. I'm probably going to spend the rest of this episode just trying to think about this map on pause just to kind of get the game a little bit better. Um, let me... I guess I can unpause it. I kind of want these, like, ghost routes to go away. Okay. Okay, okay, because circles, okay, thank you. That's what I need to know. Because circles don't generate circles. Yeah. Therefore, the most common thing they can generate is a triangle. Okay, that changes the, the math. Thank you. Gotcha. Everybody, okay. Why is there still a oh, did it generate a ghost because there's a passenger that had to go straight there or something? I'll look at it in a second. Um,
am I going to get down to the island? I guess I got to have two triangles in a row. I'm just trying to avoid it. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I have all the common shapes there now. I need a square here to deal with the circle. I already have a square. Square triangle circle, weird baseball diamond. I don't need to connect to the rarer shapes like the baseball diamond. That's right. No reason to. This can probably go. Oops. This can probably go. All right. And then uh, once I unpause it, it's going to replace all of the existing trains, but then I'm going to have to pop some more out here, I guess. see this guy over here, but I guess I gotta do that. And I guess it gives me three greens in a row, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I'm, I'm like kind of trying to solve it through algorithm. Okay, carriages are necessary when you have consecutive shapes. And extra locomotives are necessary when you have a long line, I think. Oh, thanks. that's currently duplicated. I won't connect because there's too much stuff there right now, basically. So that was connected. Came over to that due to not paying attention. Which 
Just took somebody off my red line. Can't move that one. This can get out of control really fast. It's kind of wild. Okay. So I think what I was doing kind of worked, but that I'm still missing something, that I can't just build everything out from a central triangle and then try to alternate shapes, that eventually that just no longer works because I have to start connecting consecutive shapes. Um, I'll keep trying something like that to see what it produces for me. Is Osaka? Right. Yeah, it's that kind of like weird little meta aspects of the game that I need to learn a little bit better. I think understanding that circles are the most common shape, but triangles are the most common destination was really crucial. It just hadn't triggered for me yet. Yeah. Well, maybe I just broke that by making an additional line. Now stuff's getting messy. Okay. Um... Oh, that's kind of cool. Got bullet trains now? Huh. Interesting. I guess I want to give it a try, although I don't have a long line. So ideally, I want this to touch as many station nodes as possible, right? Don't know if that means making another tunnel is worth it. Probably not. Oh, that was ideal. Oh, it has to accelerate. Interesting. So if it stops, that's bad. So when it says long line, it doesn't mean lots of stops. It means lots of travel time between stops. Okay.
It's a little pretty scary mess here. the circles I got down here do does the bullet train deal with consecutive identical shapes better Capacity, not speed. Okay. See what you're saying. One needs to be further out, I guess. So like any time they cross lines like this, as opposed to running parallel to each other, it causes a slowdown. Is that true? having the two circles in a row there so I have to deal with a lot of cross lines here I might pause again maybe after the next day passes to just kind of look at the more complicated map and try to redraw it from scratch Does it take an equal amount of time to load or unload? Um, I'm just wondering if like, if, um, if a train has a single passenger, like a bullet train, does it slow down just as much to offload that one passenger as it does to load six passengers, right? One square on the whole map. Consecutive circles here. I probably have some. Simultaneously load and unload. Okay. The reason I'm asking is that for the, the bullet train, it's like, it feels like you want to minimize any amount of loading and unloading along the path that they're taking. So you want those to be put on like single lines that maybe only have like two or three stops along them, basically. I already feel like I have too many stops on this line here. I 
Oh, I didn't realize that wasn't being serviced. Shoot. This is a nightmare. Let me wipe everything and think about what I want to do here. Oops, let me not lock that. It's just because I'm still learning. Um, kind of want to dismiss all of the ghost lines. It makes it hard for me to think. So. I guess, does it make sense for the bullet trains to service weird stops only, right? How many bridges was that? Oops. It's a single bridge. It's two bridges if it passes through that circle station. the other weird one, the baseball diamond. I wonder if it makes more sense to connect the weird shapes to each other. Try that. have them meet at the square, but now they're all too close to each other for that to make sense. No. I don't think that helps. I don't think that's doing anything, what I'm talking about. Um, I could connect all the weird shapes to each other and have that be, like, the feature of a regular line. This is how you get to the weird places. May as well go there since I'm already on the island. Okay. And then purple. It'd be hard to avoid doing a double bridge there, which is kind of a waste, so we don't want that. End up getting a double bridge there pretty much no matter what I do. Okay. This place sucks, basically. I don't like it. <laughs> Almost impossible for me to draw it to anything without ending up with an extra bridge, I think. So I could connect here, but that seems like a waste because that's not going to be a common destination, right? Let's do that. I need them all at the second triangle. Well, we'll see. I'll adjust it here in a second. So that's everybody. Okay, so now... This is a cool map, because I feel like this one, it's much more clear where the urban versus like rural areas are. I'm sure that's by design to make the bullet train make a little bit more sense. Um, to do three circles in a row down here. Not 
necessarily. Okay, so I've got every node connected. And then if I want to move the trains, I kind of have to just press go and then pause to see where they are and move them, right? Where are the other bullet trains here? Brown should probably be one. Hard to like pull the train off there when it's already at a station. Uh, using two bridges, huh? Shoot, I don't like that at all. Gets me there, but then I have three per three circles in a row again. Um, oh wow, I'm not using my blue at all. I didn't even see that. Okay, I can fix that in a sec. I have a bullet train on the red line that I probably don't need to be a bullet train. Probably want a bullet on the green line. need more trains on the red blue doesn't have a triangle yeah i think i just completely forgot about the blue good call though so i still have intersections too yeah this one's gonna die so here i had this brilliant idea of oh i'm just gonna have one line that services all the weird locations but then i had a problem where there's too many people trying to go to those weird locations and not enough trains and I probably already screwed myself on this level because I took more bullet trains than regular trains and I probably needed more regular trains, right? Yeah. They also generate passengers to regular places too, which means the, the train is full. Okay. Well... Doing it that way for a couple levels kind of helped me to understand a little bit better of what I'm doing wrong. Um, thank you, Leon, for putting this on your sub block. I would be interested in playing it more if you want to keep it on there, see all these different levels and stuff and see if I can eventually get good at it. But if it's been too much suffering to watch me be bad at it, then I understand. Uh, this is an interesting game. It's one that doesn't like instantly click with me for whatever reason. Um, but I would be interested in playing it some more and see if I can figure it out. Thanks.